Hi friends, hi YouTube. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I love fun, bright, colorful makeup. I would love to have you subscribe if you haven't already, but if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. I enjoyed our teeny bitty time together. Anyways, uh, welcome or welcome back to my most favorite series and segment on my channel. This is Mish Mesh Monday. Mishmash Monday is where I take a couple palettes out of my collection and I ran on them or generate some shades out of them and I make a look with them. This week's palettes are the Age of Opulence palette, which looks like this, and the Nomad Ghost Town palette, which looks like this. I ended up creating this super gorgeous look. So if you would like to see how I ended up creating this, what shades ended up getting picked, how I ended up making it work like I did, then uh, let's get into this. Y'all have no idea how absolutely excited I am to finally sit down and do this again. Welcome to a little series, a little segment that I like to call Mish Nash Monday. God, that feels good to say again. It is where I take two random palettes from my collection, a random number generate three shades from each palette, and I create a look using them. I'm so excited. Okay, um, today, like for this week's installment, I already have next week's planned. How insane is that? Um, I, I chose these guys. Um, I chose the Nomad Ghost Town palette, which looks like this. And the Beauty Bay Age of Populence, just because it's like, it's just collecting dust at the moment, which looks like this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I said that in kind of like introducing what Mishmash Monday is. Mishmash Monday, like I said, is where I take two palettes, random color stories, and generate three shades out of them. I try to pick color stories and palettes that do not go together, um, which is why I chose these ones because they really don't. I mean, I know that there's some shades that probably would go together in these, but yeah. The point is, is oh, I just whacked myself in the face. The point is, is, to, to, is to choose things that don't necessarily go together and make something fun out of it. So um, let's random number generate our shades. Okay, so we're going to start with the Ghost Town palette, which has 18 shades in it. So I have that in my trusty old number generator here from, you know, Google. So, for the hair. Ready? 17. Okay. Ooh, 17 is that shade right there called Smoky Quartz. I've never used that shade, so I'm really excited about that. Next shade, seven. Ooh, I'm loving the sevens. Okay, okay. That is that shade right there called Copper Penny. And by the way, I go like that. Okay, and last but not least for this palette, 13. Oh my gosh, all my favorite numbers. I can't even right now. Okay. All shimmers, all shimmers. That is that shade right there called Garnet Montana, right there. Okay, so the Age of Opulence palette has 20 shades in it. So, Jesus. So, let's pick our shades. Seven. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. What if we get the same numbers? Oh my gosh, it's another shimmer. That is that shade right there called Champagne. Okay, next shade, 12. That's really close, 13 though. Okay. That 12 is that shade right there called Flapper. Finally, not a shimmer. <laughs> and last but not least, 15. That is that shade right there called Revival. Mm -hmm. This is getting back at me for the look I did not that long ago where it was all matte. So I'm going to go swatch. We'll talk about it. We'll theorize. I'll be right back. 
this color story this freaking color story okay this is the nomad side and this is the beauty bay age of opulence side i'm like so totally excited for this i think this is gonna be a little bit difficult there's only one mat um but it is what it is i can kind of see something a little bit sort of yeah i don't know I, I i don't fully know but it is what it is i'm going to prime my eyes with the Aryan beauty concealer in fair 2n and then set it with the maybelline fit me matte and poreless translucent powder if you see any products or anything in this video that you would like um if it's not linked down below because i usually have everything linked down below they're not affiliate links not that special but if you see something like just ask and i will give you the link whatever it is what it is um along with timestamps down below um yeah my bio description is usually pretty packed so <laughs> let's do this i don't think you guys have any idea of how excited i am to do this again i absolutely love doing this my chair is creaking this don't piss me off so there's that um yeah i'm just so excited also today's drinky drink is a pink slush alani it's super good it's just super good um i think my game plan is maybe i don't know i think i could maybe like mix those two sort of together somewhere i don't maybe in a corner here blue i don't know we will see where my brain takes me um yeah so i think i'm going to start by taking this unearthly uc87 brush and that flapper shade from the age of obvious spot that shade right there and plopping that into the crease area right in here not taking a lot just because both of these palettes are very 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 potent um also the lighting is going to switch because there's clouds so just an fyi but now you know that we're up close and personal with each other i'm going to plop that shade right here into the crease very lightly just so then i can get the placement that i want and then we'll blend it out Like I said, just plopping it down and then blending it out. I really, really like this brush for blending. I think it is super good. This came from their um, Charmer collection, which is also a, like, was, words are hard, which was almost a palette that I chose for today, but it's not. Um, I'm really excited for next week's Mish Restaurant Day, if I can remember because I can't wait to see how I edit this video because my ADHD is not letting me finish one sentence <laughs> at all right now so mm, my god but I'm excited to see next week's mishmash monday um it's beauty bay that's my hint both palettes are beauty bay now that i have that which i really like i'm thinking to deepen it out a little we will go in with that um smoky quartz shade right there from the ghost town palettes um it is like a purple gray blue type thing i am going to take it still on this brush a little and then plop it like right below this it does suck because all of them are shimmers i'm not gonna cheat like i've done in the past where i've swapped some out yeah we're just plopping that smoky quartz shade right here right below that flapper shade in just a little bit here and then blending it out we're still using that unearthly uc87 brush right now it's looking a little bit like i got punched in the face but that's okay <laughs> it is what it is um 
now we have those two out of here maybe we can i'm thinking that shade that shade is the garnet uh montana shade from the ghost town palette so that is that one right there i'm thinking we take that on this rougher 14. hopefully we will see here and then plopping that into right out here Ooh, look at that that's pretty and then it's gonna go all the shit because of all the other shit we have to use whatever we'll, we'll make it work but I'm just plopping that into the outer edge here and then sort of blending it in. I think that is super, super pretty. Now I'm just taking a little bit more and just tapping it in so then we can get that color pigment payoff. My God, I'm thinking we put that blue down here actually. Yeah, we'll put maybe put like that down here and like use all of this up here. I think that would look bomb. I think I'm gonna go in with that shade right there called Copper Penny, taking that on the rougher 13 brush and plopping that into this area right here. Ooh, Lord. That's freaking stunning, y'all. Oh my god. Like, I would have never thought to put any of these together, and this is turning out like. Holy shit. I'm really liking this so far. I do think I want to go back in with that um, rougher 14 and go in with just a tad bit more of that smoky quartz shade there, just to kind of deepen it out a little. But you know just right over out here smoke it out a little but holy shit y'all i exceeded my own expectations right now that is my god okay i'm gonna go in with that champagne shade now and use my rougher 21 and plop that in the inner corner oh lord oh, y'all look at that look at that oh my god i You know, I'm speechless. I think I'm gonna go in with just a tad bit more of that uh, copper penny shade again, just so we get the of it, you know? Y'all, that's gonna be, oh. I'm gonna go do my face and my lashes and I'll come back for, you know, the under eye, tell you all the lip you know all the other details so i'll be back i'm back hello hi uh if you hear birds outside the window that's because there's a lilac bush multiple lilac bushes right up there and they like to sit literally the birds do out there and just you know be freaking annoying um we're back we're glam uh for blush i went in with multiple different shades that's why i wanted to break it down before I did highlight and all that stuff so you can like just see it all. Uh, I use Tangy, Squeeze, and Ripe. For Tangy and Squeeze, I put them in this area right here, just a little bit lower, and then I used the shade Ripe and put it there, here, here, all over my face to make it look like I have some color on my face. Um, I don't know, I, I haven't really figured out what I want to do. Ooh, she's not blended. <laughs> um what I want to do
or highlight. I just haven't decided. Um, maybe we'll decide about that after we do the end eye. So I'm thinking we go in with maybe this Refer 03. If not, I do have my Refer 23 out as a backup, but we want to use that blue shade now, the uh, Revival shade, because that's the only shade out of the shades that I pulled that I have not used yet. So that's one right there. I'm really excited for this. I think this is gonna look super pretty. Again, I'm using the 03 for right now, just to kind of like feel it out. You know what, no. <laughs> no, it's, it was gonna be too big. We're gonna use the Refer 23 for this. And then, Put it along the waterline. I'm trying to be really careful with it as I've already done my full face and these shimmers are very, um, they drop a lot. I don't really remember what the term for that is, but yeah, I'm just plopping it under the end eye. Up until I think about right here and then I'm going to bring that gold down there. All right, now that I have that blue done down there, that is just so stunning. I'm gonna go in with that champagne shade again. I'm gonna go in with the Refer 23 still, just cause, and plop that in the rest of the inner corner and down to meet that Revival shade. It's giving, whenever I do like a blue on the under eye, it always just reminds me of um, like Egyptian you know, that is, that's stunning. Um, I'm going to put a little bit, of, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara in the under eye. This is the Maybelline Sky High uh, one in waterproof. I always use waterproof mascara. I pride and true, always and forever. I did put on a little bit more mascara than I usually do on the bottom lashes because I'm trying to cover up the travesty that is <laughs> the under eye right now because she is a mess. So I'm going to go in with highlight now. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe we'll just go in with enlighten here. I'm trying to show you the shift that it does in here, but um, I'm thinking enlighten or the purple shade up here, which is far out. I'm really thinking enlighten just right now so I'm gonna pop that right there I'm going to go in with my refer 14 I have multiple of them you know do a little a little glowing and then I'm gonna take that um, enlightened shade and plop it under the brow So for a lip, I ended up going in with this next Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Sandstorm. I think it's just super pretty. Um, I am very much debating about putting this um, lip oil on from Unearthly, but I'm kind of just vibing with how it looks right now. So, yeah. So this is the final completed look oh my god I think it is so pretty I love how this turned out I think the color story like when it was like on my hand really looked like intimidating but actually like making it work like this like just wow wow I really really enjoy it I really do I really like how it turned out I know I keep saying that but it's like yeah. I never have ever had doubt in myself about this series. <laughs> Just kidding, I have. There's so many times where I've been like, yeah. But um, I will have this series linked down below if any of you would like to, you know, are new and want to check it out. Uh, there's a lot of them, actually. So there's that. Um, oh my gosh, I just, I can't stop staring at myself. I really like how this turned out. Like, my God. <laughs> um... If you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, a couple of things before you go. Remember to not be a piece of shit. Don't be homophobic. Don't be transphobic. Don't be racist. There's somebody better be.
there's so many better things to be doing with your time, your money, your energy. I understand that you do not like it. I understand that you do not understand it. But that's something you need to take a step back and reflect on and to do better on because pull together, okay? Pull it together. And remember to be taking care of yourself to be making sure you're getting enough water, enough food, you know, taking days for yourself, not being such a people pleaser, you know? Make sure you're taking care of you. Um, again, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, remember to do good, be good, and I can't wait to see your cute face next time.